welcome back to the channel um i just been on the phone gossiping and talking and i just started making a wreath this is what she's looking like so far crumple and curl method um another fourth of july patriot memorial day type wreath but um I'm just going to finish this up and chat with y'all a little bit. Okay, uh, my friend called from Alaska. She's from here, Texas, but she, back in March, was telling me about um, a lot of people on her job. She's a, a bus driver, a shuttle bus driver, and she was telling me how a lot of people on her job was going up to Alaska for the uh, summer season to work up there and she was telling me how much money they make and they got bonuses and you know it was beautiful up there and you know housing assistance and all that good stuff and it sounded great so I told my husband about it I started doing the application process and everything I got a snack I have a CDL and I've been having a CDL for many many years but it's a class A. Well, to be a driver, you need uh, to have passenger and school bus endorsement. That can be added to, you know, uh, A or a B, I believe. Well, to rent out a bus and learn how to, you know, drive it and all that stuff, it's going to cost some money. I didn't realize that. I thought I just had to go down to the DMV and, you know, add it to my um, license as an endorsement like I've done with all my other endorsements so after going through everything finding out that's not how it works when it's passenger I told the uh, the recruiter lady I wasn't gonna be able to do it this year because I was thinking about getting my passenger endorsement and all that this year and maybe going for 2025 season well she went up there a few weeks ago uh, got an apartment and been working the job, got trained, all that good stuff. And she's been telling me some stuff she didn't know. She was saying that um, they have van positions, like a van driver, where you don't need those endorsements. It makes, you know, less money, but unlimited overtime. But with her, with the CDL, she makes more per hour, but restricted because of, you know, federal laws and regulations with, uh, you know, when you have a, a CDL. So, what? Me, her, my mom, my sister, just the whole gang was on the phone with her. And we had 50 million questions and we were talking about doing it. Well, we got stuff going on this year. So, we were thinking about 2025. Now, I was talking to the recruiter, the lady who actually does the hiring and all that stuff. And one of the main reasons I didn't want to go is because uh, my dog Lucky was sick. I knew he had cancer and it could be any time. And I didn't want to be in Alaska and leave him with the pet sitter here and he could die. And me not be there, I would have felt like crap. So I was like, no. I was trying to figure out how to take him up there with me and was looking into uh, renting an RV, you know, and the driving up there and ferries and calculating gas money and trying to see what kind of permits might be needed in case we had to cross over into Canada with our dogs. I, I was putting it all together. But at the end, what held us up was me not having the proper endorsements. And we didn't know about the whole van position not needing any kind of endorsements. So that would be absolutely perfect. Uh, that if they had any openings, I could do it this year. But our girl dog lady, um, let's see here. I'm gonna make some bundles now. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. But our girl dog lady. Uh, my sister was like, are you going to leave her or take her? So I have to talk to my husband about it to see what he wants to do. 
um, but I don't know, I don't know, uh, but one problem at a time, I'm going to first sort out how I want this, I want this, because I've been looking at this little sign, I like the sign, it's rustic, you know, with the whole, uh, the truck and all that, and I want it on here, but I'm going to do all my bundles around the outside and do some scatter towards the middle and then I'm gonna put this there okay so uh, my girl dog lady I'm gonna see uh, I'm gonna ask them about taking her and then I'm also gonna get a rate with the pet sitter and I don't know that's that's a that's a long time I'm, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna end up taking her that's a long time and uh, my husband that's his dog it's our dog but he picked her out and she it's obvious that she's closer to him than me even though when she's terrified, like last night, she runs to me. There's a storm going on, and she runs to me. And when she wants to go for a walk, me, when she wants to get petted, me. But that's his dog, and you can tell, it, you can tell whose dog is who. Lucky was my dog. I mean, me and him. When my husband was over the road, it was just me and Lucky at home for several months. When he was a puppy, when we first got him, so of course he naturally bonded with me. And then when we got Lady. He was over the road, and um, when we got her, and she bonded with me for a little while, but a few weeks later, he was home, and they were inseparable ever since, but he's not going to want to leave her for that long, so. This ribbon here, I am going to make uh, some bundles out of this ribbon. And I am going to cut this nine inches. Let me go ahead and cut this real quick. Y'all, I suck at multitasking. <laughs> I suck at multitasking. And my bow will not be made out of this. I learned my lesson. I'm going to make my bow out of a uh, I want to make it out of this one. And maybe this one also. I haven't decided yet, but I know this is going to be my bundles. And I'm going to make Mm, 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 mm. I did not even count these. Two, four, six, eight, seven, about twelve. Yeah, these are about twelve. So I'm going to do about six bundles. Three. So once I figure out what I'm going to do about our dog, more than likely we're going to take her. Uh, but if by some chance we can't, we're going to make sure um, she's set up with the pet sitter and all that. But that's a long time, though. i got to talk to him, see what he want to do. But more than likely, if we can't take her, he's going to be like, no. <laughs> so... But in the meantime, I'm going to get the details, get the information, and that would be perfect because basically I do uh, I do events, host events mainly in November, 
and also I have some uh, holiday events I mean uh, some fall events and spring events but if we were to go to Alaska I wouldn't do the spring or fall events all I would do is the holiday events and it would be next year so the warehouse I wouldn't be paying for everything up here I probably put all my goodies here in storage <laughs> and take them home and set up me a place there and also y'all will be getting different videos more like scenic in Alaska if I were to go up there and believe you me I would also probably be taking some stuff uh, just to just to keep myself occupied because she said there's like nothing to do up there like there's plenty of excursions you can go on and they would be free for you since you're uh you would work with the company and you can go on your day off and all that but just regular you know after work there's nothing to do up there so i'm gonna go ahead and dovetail these but um uh, my biggest thing would be, uh, my husband, he doesn't mind going, but, lady, gotta see about her. And also, there's no way, my husband be like, no, we need to stay with her, but if you want to go, go ahead, I'll stay with her, and you just, you know, I'll come visit. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> He used to type, we're married, we're supposed to be together, and that's that, so. We'll have to talk about all that, but, yeah. It's all for nothing. If, if he's not going, I'm not going. And if I'm going, he's going. <laughs> so, I'm going to sort that out. I wonder if anybody up there has pets. Hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? Is that too long to leave your dog with the sitter? Mind you, the sitter has been there for her for day one. It's my friend Cassie. Been knowing her uh, for over 10 years. And she's been watching Lucky and Lady since... Uh, I got Lucky December 26, 2012. She started watching Lucky in September of 2013. So I hadn't even had him a year and she started watching him. And up until, up until he died last month. And Lady, I got Lady at six weeks. She said she was too young. She wouldn't let her come until she was at least, I think, two or three months. So in June. So, she was born February 13, 2016, and she started going to the pet sitter in June. So, she was about four months old. Uh, I had to, you know, potty train her a little bit, and she wanted to wait until she was a little bit older. So, it's not like I just found something off a of, uh, of Yelp, and I'm just going to drop her off for six months. She... You know, she's been raised with her her whole life. So, some people, you know, um, go on these work trips and leave their uh, pets with, you know, family members, leave them at home with the wife or the kids or whatever. But I don't know if that's too long. And I got to see what my husband says. Basically what he says goes when it comes to the pooch. But I'm going to look into, you know, uh, taking her and ask about that and all that stuff. And if they say, yeah, you just have to put a pet deposit. Cool. And I had already started looking into, darn it, I cut it the wrong way. Oh, I had already started looking into flight stuff. Uh, on flying up there and 
and then I started uh, looking at, you know, uh, theories and, you know, different ways we can get up there. But the one thing is, uh, if we did do this, we would see how many family members, because my mom, my sister, her friend, my husband, all of us, um, there's housing available. And if you like a couple or go up there with someone, you know, they're more willing to, you know, house y'all together. I think housing is like 400 a month for a, a condo and you have to share a bedroom. So if there's like four adults, two bedrooms, y'all have to share a room, which is weird to me. I thought they would get their own room, but no. But she says it's nice. And if she's not flipping out about it, it must be all right because she flips out anytime she's not happy with something. So, I just dovetail all these. And the way I do these, y'all know how I like to mix them up. So, so I'm going to mix these this way, that way, and other. And then another. So I'm going to mix these bundles up and place them all around. And I'm just hoping everything can get situated so that would be so much fun all of us can go pays really good money and Alaska y'all I've always wanted to go to Alaska she said it's gorgeous up there beautiful there are bears she's seen some and she said usually the area um around the salmon bank I believe they see bears often and where she lives at because she's at the base of the mountain and the bears come down so she was saying that they're supposed to be hibernating but they're not <laughs> they don't woke up early and they're out exploring so she was saying gotta watch out for the bears that she doesn't really venture you know far from her home where they got her uh you know her apartment with the roommate because of the bears she don't want to get mauled okay adding all the stuff to it we're gonna see which way I want to end up turning it because that bow might end up at the top 
on the top left or bottom left or who knows. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this is a day or so later. I was looking at that wreath, looking, looking, and that bow just wasn't sitting right with me. Um, this bow here is too white for that wreath. It has burlap red and blue mainly. So then I made this bow, and I'm like, still, it's not right. So I went to Hobby Lobby looking for some summer ribbon that I forgot to buy when it was on clearance, and I came across this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bow out of this ribbon. This is two and a half inch by 18 feet. I'm going to cut six pieces of this at 22 inches long. And I'm going to dovetail it. And I will show y'all what it's looking like once I finish it. So... I will be right back. y'all a better view much better here's the bow much better and let me get y'all a close-up And here it is. Yeah, that bow was not setting right with me. So I probably end up putting this one on my door because I don't have one for my uh, door at home or the warehouse. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. But this is all I got for y'all today. So if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.